The movie kicks off by introducing a lady named Liu Xiai. She's a famous lawyer, known for always winning her cases. One day, she helps out a guy named Mr. Zhao, and he's so grateful that he invites her to dinner. While they're chatting, Zhao is kind of surprised that Liu Xie, who's super smart and good-looking, is still single. This question stirs up some old memories she'd rather forget. Later, when Liu Xie's back home, she's watching TV and hears about a famous artist who just passed away. An art gallery decides to put on an exhibition to honor the artist's work. As she's watching, she notices some pieces that connect to her past. So she decides to visit the gallery the next day. At the gallery, she's checking out all the stuff on display, including personal items from the artist's fans. Then, out of the blue, she spots her lost diary. She tries to grab it, but the gallery staff stops her. Turns out, you can only take stuff from the exhibition with the owner's permission. So Lu Xiai has to wait for the gallery to get in touch with whoever sent the diary to the exhibition. Let's go back in time when Lu Xiai was just a kid. She called out to her dad, who was on his way home, all excited because he was bringing her a froggy raincoat she really wanted. She felt so happy. But then, everything turned sad when they got news of a terrible accident that took her dad's life. Lu Ji and her mom, Little Lin, were crushed by the heartbreaking news. It hit Liu Lin doubly hard because not only did she lose her husband, but they couldn't even get the insurance money. So Liu Lin decided they had to visit her dad's boss to fight for what they deserve. While waiting for her mom to talk to the boss, Liu Ji sat outside, staring at her frog sticker. That's when a boy named Sheng Wai Nan, who happened to be her dad's boss's son, came over and introduced himself. He invited her to play, but things went south when some troublemakers started causing problems. Liu Lin rushed in, took Liu Xi home, and strictly forbade her from hanging out with Wai Nan. Fast forward 10 years, Liu Ji's in high school. She's checking her grades on the bulletin board, and she is shocked by a change in the school ranking after Wai Nan, who is a new transfer student at the school, managed to get first place. Liu Xi, who used to be in the top 10, now finds herself in 11th place. Her mom's not too thrilled and gives her an earful about her slipping grades. The next day at school, Wai Nan, the guy who came in first place, gave a pep talk to all of the students. Liu Xi, who was in the crowd, couldn't help but pay close attention to him. She never expected to see the boy from her childhood again. From that day on, Liu Xi secretly kept an eye on Wai Nan, even though he didn't remember her as the girl he used to play with a decade ago. She even tried following his study techniques, like how he remembered English words. One day, Liu Xi went up to the school rooftop where she knew Huai Nan often hung out. She wrote a few anonymous messages on the wall, hoping he'd notice. During gym class, there was a rumor going around that a girl named Yi Zan Yan was close to Huai Nan. Many of Liu Ji's friends thought they made a perfect couple, but when she heard the gossip, Liu Ji tried not to let it bother her. She focused on her running practice with her friends. Then something unexpected happened. Her friend, Zhen Wen Ru, fell on the field and panicked because she lost her lucky charm. Lu Ji tried to calm her down and took her away from the field. And out of the blue, Wai Nan showed up, giving Wen Ru an amulet he found on the field. A few days later, Lu Ji went back up to the school roof and got a big surprise. Wai Nan was there, responding to the messages she'd written on the wall. After he left, she hurriedly checked and replied to those messages. This became a daily thing. They'd exchange messages on the wall, even though Wai Nan had no idea it was Lu Ji behind them. Besides that, Lu Ji went out of her way to learn all she could about Wai Nan. She watched how he held his chopsticks and always tried to stay close to him. Once, Lu Ji and her friends had a rehearsal for a school performance. For the dress rehearsal, she ended up wearing a plant costume. Jian Yan was the main singer in the choir, and she asked Wai Nan to play the piano for her. Lu Ji felt jealous and suggested to her teacher to pick a new main singer. The teacher agreed and gave Lu Ji a chance to sing the song. Sadly, her performance didn't go so well. People ended up laughing because her voice wasn't very good. So she had to go back to being a plant while Zhan Yan became the main singer of the show. On the day of the performance, Lu Ji and her friends did their thing on stage. After it was all over, Wen Ru suddenly blurted out her feelings for Huai Nan in front of everyone. Huai Nan just smiled and ignored her, walking off with Zhan Yan. Wen Ru got cheers from their friends for her bold move. Afterward, Wen Ru told Lu Ji that she didn't regret confessing her feelings for Wai Nan, even though it was embarrassing. Lu Ji was surprised because she had been keeping her own feelings for Wai Nan hidden. A little later, during class, Lu Ji poured her heart out in her diary because she wasn't sure if she could ever be with Wai Nan. Suddenly, it started to rain, 
so she hurried up to the school roof to check the messages she and Huai Nan had written on the wall. Up there, she felt sad because the rain had washed away all the writing. Unexpectedly, Huai Nan also rushed to the roof and noticed that their messages were gone. Lu Xi quickly hid behind a wall, not wanting him to see her. Just like Lu Xi, Huai Nan felt sad when he saw that all the messages he had shared with someone had disappeared. On another occasion, Lu Xi was watching Huai Nan play the piano in the music room. She felt pretty jealous when Zhan Yan showed up and tried to get close to him. And things got even more annoying when she heard rumors that Zhan Yan and Huai Nan were dating. Since she figured she had no chance with him, Lu Xi decided to forget about Huai Nan and focus on her studies. Her plan was to work hard and become the top student in school. Meanwhile, Huai Nan ended up dead last in the school rankings because he skipped the school exam and chose to go abroad with Zhan Yan. As the new number one student in school, Lu Xi also gave a speech and some motivation to all the students, just like Huai Nan had done. She encouraged everyone not to give up on their dreams, no matter the obstacles and failures they faced. Some time later, Lu Xi graduated from high school and headed off to a well-known university to study law. One day, as she was biking back to her dorm, something unusual happened. She accidentally pedaled onto a street where Huai Nan and his friends were filming a movie. Out of nowhere, a tomato fell right in front of her, nearly hitting her bike. She slammed on the brakes, and when she looked up, there was Huai Nan, who she didn't expect to see on the same campus as her. She was still trying to process it all when Huai Nan's friend Zhang Mingru came over and tried to recruit her for their film. He'd seen her natural shocked expression and thought she'd be great in it. But she brushed off Mingru's offer and left the scene. Back at the dorm, Lu Ji wrote about the day's events in her diary. She mentioned feeling a mix of happiness and embarrassment when she unexpectedly saw Huai Nan, someone she'd been trying to forget. The next day, while having lunch in the cafeteria, Lu Zhai ran into Ming Ru. He invited her to join him and Huai Nan at their table. Lu Xi felt a bit awkward sitting at the same table as Huai Nan. Eventually, though, they started chatting about their high school days. At first, she pretended not to recognize him. But when he reminded her they went to the same high school, she admitted she remembered him as Zhan Yan's boyfriend. Huai Nan confessed that he'd broken up with Zhan Yan, which made Lu Xi happy. Ming Ru even invited her to be in his short film and she cheered up and accepted, especially because she'd get to be the main character alongside Huai Nan. Once, Lu Ji and Huai Nan were in the same class, and their professor asked them to practice a mock trial scene. Lu Ji played the role of the plaintiff's lawyer, and Huai Nan was the defense lawyer. Lu Ji really got into it, especially because the case was similar to something her dad had gone through. She managed to leave Huai Nan speechless with her arguments. During the practice, Huai Nan was impressed by Lu Ji's intelligence. That evening, Lu Xi was working a part-time job at a shop. Out of the blue, Huai Nan showed up and ordered a ton of food because he thought it would help her earn a bonus. Lu Xi just chuckled at his amusing gesture. When her work shift ended, he stuck around to help her close up shop and walked her home. On the way, Huai Nan suggested that she quit the job because the pay didn't match the hard work she put in. But she refused, explaining that she needed the money for her daily expenses. Not long after, Lu Xi got a call from her roommate who was in trouble at a bar. She and Huai Nan rushed over to help out. When they arrived, they tried to assist her roommate, and Huai Nan even bravely tried to sort things out. But in the end, they got caught up in a mess and had to make a quick exit from the bar. As they ran, they found a hiding spot, but just as they thought it was safe to come out, it started raining. So they had to take shelter there. While waiting for the rain to stop, Huai Nan apologized to Lu Ji for pushing her to quit her job, but she didn't mind at all. Instead, she thanked him for helping her friend at the bar. Huai Nan then shared a bit about his high school days, mentioning how he used to communicate with someone through messages on the school roof wall. He said he was curious about who had written those messages and even suspected Zhan Yan. Lu Ji, hearing this, could only stay quiet because she couldn't admit that she was the one behind those messages. The next morning, as Lu Ji was getting ready to head to college, she heard an announcement that classes were canceled due to heavy rain and the possibility of a storm. Not long after, Huai Nan got in touch with her and asked where she was. Eager to meet him, Lu Xi fibbed and said she was in front of the campus building. Huai Nan told her to wait for him. After the call, Lu Jai rushed to the front of the campus building and intentionally left her umbrella behind so Huai Nan wouldn't recognize her if he had just arrived. She waited for him, and soon enough, he showed up and gave her a frog raincoat, just like her dad had promised. It made her really happy. 
A few days later, Liu Ji and her friends headed to an island to shoot Ming Ru's short film. Once the filming was done, they all hopped on a bus to go back home. Liu Ji ended up sitting next to Wai Nan. Out of the blue, she asked him what if he liked sunny, cloudy, or rainy days. Wai Nan remembered the message he had read on the school roof wall, so he said he preferred rainy days, just like what he had written back then. When Liu Xie heard his answer, she felt really happy and even had the courage to hold his hand. At that moment, Wai Nan mentioned that he'd found the person he'd been searching for. From that day on, they decided to start dating. Liu Ji and Huai Nan were inseparable on campus and even at the shop where she worked. He'd surprise her by joining her on the train ride home because he couldn't stand being apart from her. When Liu Xie got home, she found her mom, Liu Lin, looking quite happy because she had gathered enough evidence to take legal action against Huai Nan's parents. Although Liu Xiai was glad that her dad might finally get justice, she also worried about her relationship with Wai Nan, which could be affected by this problem. The next day, Liu Ji and Wai Nan planned to visit their old high school. They even dressed in their high school uniforms to bring back memories of the good times they had there. In the afternoon, they went up to the school roof to see the messages they had written on the walls and promised not to forget each other. A little while later, as Liu Ji was getting ready to head back to campus, Wai Nan told her he couldn't go with her because he had some family matters to attend to first. Without his presence, her days started feeling empty, and she didn't hear from him for a whole week. Then one day, Lu Xi got news that Wai Nan had misused his influence on campus, leading everyone to talk about his mistakes. On that same day, Lu Xi was surprised to find her mom waiting for her in the dormitory. Liu Lin told her daughter that she had won the trial, and as a result, Wai Nan's father was sentenced to prison. His mother, in shock from the judge's decision, had to be rushed to the hospital. Upon hearing this, Liu Ji felt sad because she feared losing Wai Nan. She hurried to the hospital, where she expected to find Wai Nan. But to her shock, she saw Zhang Yan there, accompanying Wai Nan's mother. Zhang Yan, who had learned about Liu Ji's past from her diary that she had taken, told her that she should forget about Wai Nan, who was going abroad with her to continue his studies. Hearing this, Liu Ji decided to abandon her plan to meet Wai Nan and made up her mind to move on. Fast forward to the present at the art gallery, Liu Xi finally got her diary back. When she opened it, she was surprised to see that Huai Nan had also written about everything that happened in the past. In his writings, Zhang Yan had told Huai Nan about Liu Xi's diary and even gave it to him. After reading all of Liu Xi's entries, Huai Nan realized how tough her life had been and how deeply she loved him. After high school, he had found out which university Liu Xi was attending and enrolled there too, just to be close to her. Yuan Nan also revealed that he was initially confused about how to approach her, especially with the family problems they were facing. He could only watch her from a distance, especially when his own family had serious issues that forced him to stop studying and work odd jobs to support them. When Zhang Yan invited him to go abroad, he declined because he found the inspiration to become independent from reading Liu Xi's diary. Even now, every time it rains, Yuan Nan can't help but think of Liu Xi, who has become a successful lawyer. He feels a bit insecure about approaching her, but he's determined not to let her slip away again if given a second chance. After pouring his heart out in Liu Ji's diary, Wai Nan hopes that she'll read his story someday. A while later, as he was packing his things, Wai Nan stumbled upon a cassette of a film they had made back in school. Watching it, he couldn't hold back his tears as he longed for the girl he loved. Then, out of the blue, he received a call from the gallery, saying that someone wanted to take back the diary he had submitted for the exhibition. Towards the end of the film, it shows Huai Nan meeting Liu Xie in front of the gallery. Despite the awkwardness, she repeats the question she had once written on the school roof wall, but he confesses that he loves her more than rain. Hearing his answer, Liu Xie felt overjoyed because it meant that they could finally be together again. More or less in front of this story shows us that love can overcome difficulties and come back stronger when two people are determined to work through problems and talk openly about their feelings.